Hello everyone, welcome once again to my YouTube channel. I am Auntie Nancy. Now if this is your first time of coming across my channel, please do not fail to like, subscribe, watch to the end, and most especially, leave me lovely comments if you love my videos. Now don't forget I also run a tutorial for adults with little or no education. Distance is not a barrier. Distance is not a barrier. It's an online class for adults who want to learn how to read and write. All you have to do is to follow my page on Facebook, Nurses Foundation, and then I'll be there to attend to you. Good. Now, if you've been watching my video, you know that this channel is for adults with little or no education. You want to learn how to read and write. You want to try your hands. You want to be able to spell, to compose words, to make sentences. I am here for you. Just go down there, search for all the videos, and trust me. I started from A, B, C, D. Now, A, B, C, D are the um, 26 letters of the alphabet, commonly known as A, B, C, D. They are the alphabet. We have uppercase and lowercase, which people normally call um, capital letter and small letters. But these days, we call it uppercase and lowercase. Now, whatever you are starting with, you must start with the alphabet. That is the 26 letter. Now, alphabet are 26 letter. When you move the five voice sounds, which are A, E, E, O, U, it will now be remaining 21 letters. And those 21 letters are what we know as our consonant sound. So the combination of consonant sound and our voice sound gives you uh, uh, a sound. Like bakada faga haja kalamana para kwara sata vawayaza. Whatever you are spelling in English, you need both your voice sounds and your consonant sound to spell in English. Now, for some time now, I've been teaching words, sometimes word pattern, sometimes words where double E takes the O sound, words where double E takes the E sound, words where TH takes the T sound, you know. I'm just bringing out ways for us to be able to spell easily. So today, we are going to be looking at something different, and that is parts of speech. Parts of speech. Now, there are eight parts of speech. We have noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective. Now, I'm going to give you a game so you understand it. Number one, noun. Number two, pronoun. Number three, verb. Number four, adverb. Number five, adjective. Number six, preposition. Number seven, conjunction. Number eight, interjection. There are eight parts of speech. There are what? Eight parts of speech. I'll come again. Number one, noun. Number two, pronoun. Number three, verb. Number four, adverb. Number five, adjective. Number six, preposition. Number seven, conjunction. Number eight, interjection. There are eight parts of speech. So today we're going to be talking about the first one, which is noun. Now, now, what is a noun? A noun is a name of any person, animal, place, or things. Go. A noun is a name of any person, comma, animal. Is the name of any person, animals, place, or things. One example. Examples. John is going to Benin. Good. 
gift is my friend. Nancy is my teacher. I don't know if you can see what I have on the board, but I brought out three sentences for us to be able to. Um, we are going to underline the now. See if we say and now is the name of any person. So we should know that um, John is a now. Then when we say place, Bini is a name of a place. So we are going to underline the nouns here. We have John. John is a now. Bini is a now. Gift is a now. And Nancy is a now. So don't forget I said that we have its part of speech. We have now, pronoun, number three, verb, number four, adverb, number five, adjective, number six, preposition, number seven, conjunction, number eight, interjection. And I said we are working on the first one, which is now. And I said the now is the name of any person, animals, place, or things. So I have example on the board. I said John is a now, Bini is a now. So follow my channel more. Make sure you like, make sure you subscribe and watch all the videos and wait for the next video because I'm going to finish go I'm going to finish the eight parts of speech we did now today. In my next video, I'll be teaching us pronoun. Now don't forget I run adult tutorial for adults with little or no education. Follow my page on Facebook, Nancy's Foundation. My name remains Auntie Nancy. See you in my next video.